The Second Crusade, The Fall of Edessa. One of the great challenges following the conquest is to maintain control of the conquered territory and defeat the various threats that could take it away from you. The city of Edessa, which together with Jerusalem, Nicaea and Tripoli, represented one of the great victories of Christianity in the First Crusade, fell again in the face of the Turkish advance. The Christian nobles of the Holy Land betrayed each other and the old alliances were broken. This is the story of the Second Crusade and the fall of Edessa, one of the four pillars of Christianity in the Middle East. Baldwin of Balloon, the Opportunistic Crusader. The conquest of the city of Edessa by the Crusaders was a rather particular event because it was a series of political stratagems and not a siege by the Christians as happened with other territories conquered in the First Crusade. As the Crusaders marched toward Jerusalem, the city of Edessa faced the threat of civil war between Christians, Greek Orthodox and Armenians. Theodore of Edessa, the ruler of the city, had rebelled against the Seljuks, a Turnish dynasty that ruled what is now Iran and Iraq, and part of Asia Minor, in the 11th century and had become independent, inheriting many of the problems that had given its former kings headaches. Faced with the threat of an internal war while facing the Seljuks, the rebel governor decided to ask for help from a group of crusaders passing by appealing to the fact that they were both Christians in a land dominated by infidels. Baldwin of Boulogne, a minor nobleman, decided to help him against the Seljuks in exchange for naming him as his adopted son and heir. Something that the desperate governor did in order to stop the internal conflicts. However, while quelling the internal revolts, Theodore was assassinated by some faction perhaps on the orders of Baldwin himself, leaving the heir as the new governor of the city in the year 1098. Edessa County After Baldwin I became king of Jerusalem following the death of his elder brother in 1100, the county of Edessa passed to the control of his nephew and namesake Baldwin of Baal, and Jocelyn of Courtenay was appointed lord of the fortress of Tebessel, son of the Euphrates, in important events against the Seljuks. The Franks maintained good relations with their Armenian subjects, and there were several mixed marriages. Baldwin married Arda, granddaughter of the Rupinid ruler Constantine I of Armenia. Baldwin of Borg married Morphia, daughter of Gabriel of Melitene, and Jocelyn of Courtenay married a daughter of Constantine. Baldwin II. After a series of confrontations with the Turks and the formation of complex alliances with the Arabs, Baldwin I died in 1118, being mourned by the different peoples he ruled. Having no heirs, the government of Jerusalem passed into the hands of his cousin, who was called Baldwin II of Jerusalem and introduced several changes, among which are the Order of the Hospital a charitable institution created by his predecessor in 1113, which became an order and institution of military character called the Knights Hospitallers. Hugo de Payen, another of the Crusaders, founded the Order of the Temple in Jerusalem in 1118 with the approval of Baldwin II. Baldwin II also convened the Council of Nablus in 1120, in which he established the first written laws of his reign, as well as the rights and privileges of the growing merchant communities. The Venetian Crusade After his rise to power, Baldwin II had to face a Turkmen invasion led by the Emir Ilgazi Ibn Atuk, who inflicted a major defeat in the Battle of the Fields of Blood, also known as Asia Sanguinis, in 1119. Although Baldwin achieved some victories, he was forced to ask the Pope for help and to initiate a new crusade to recover the territories that were still in the hands of the Turks. In response to his request, 
Pope Calitus II sent to the Doge of Venice, Domenico Michael, a request for help that was ratified at the First Lateran Council that took place between March 18th and April 11th, 1123. The Siege of Corfu. On August 8th, 1122, the Doge of Venice set out on a voyage with 120 ships, carrying more than 15,000 men and their horses. His first objective was the conquest of Corfu, a city in northwestern Greece, located on an island of the same name. This city had been for many years an object of dispute between the Venetians and the Byzantine Empire, and this new crusade was a good excuse to recover it. However, while the Venetian siege was taking place, a messenger interrupted the war with a message. Baldwin II was in danger and had to be rescued. The Battle of Jaffa The Venetian fleet arrived at Acre at the end of May 1123. After its landing, Mikhail learned that a Fatimid fleet of 100 ships was on its way to the city of Ascalon to help Emir Balak in his siege. This situation led him to divide his fleet into two parts. The weaker force going in the vanguard to attract the enemy fleet, while the bulk of the fleet attacked them from the rear. This strategy worked, causing the death of about 4,000 Saracens and the capture of nine ships. On June 29th, 1124, the Venetians took the city of Tyre. This gave rise to the establishment of other Venetian merchant colonies in the coastal cities of the region, autonomous, free of taxes and military obligations. Prisoners of War in 1122, Jocelino, the new Count of Edessa after Baldwin II ascended as king, was captured in battle by the Emir of Aleppo, Balak of Mardin. While Baldwin II was on his way to Edessa to take over the regency of the county, he was captured by his enemies and ended up in captivity along with Jocelyn in the city of Jarput. This situation led Eustace of Grenier, Baldwin II's right-hand man, to assume the regency of Jerusalem to face an Egyptian invasion that intended to take advantage of the capture of the king, while he in turn planned his escape together with Jocelino with the help of the Armenians in 1124, because the Venetians had taken too long to rescue him. After his liberation, Baldwin gathered all the crusaders under his banner and confronted the Seljuks in the Battle of Azaz obtaining a great victory in 1125. His next target would be Damascus in 1129, which he tried to conquer, but from which he was forced to escape after being defeated by his adversaries. Zengi's Counterattack As the spirit of conquest was waning among the Crusaders, there began to be a feeling of anger among the Muslims, who wanted to wage a jihad or holy war against the Christians. One of the first leaders of this jihad was Zengi, the governor of Mosul and Aleppo, who conquered the county of Edessa in 1144, dealing a severe blow to the Crusaders. In response to this conquest, Pope Eugene III ordered the creation of a new crusade in 1145 through his spokesman, Bernard de Fontaine, the abbot of Clairvaux. The Crusade of the Kings Although the Crusade of the Kings had more distinguished characters than the one undertaken by the Venetians, the truth is that it was the greatest failure of the Second Crusade. The Germanic Emperor Conrad III and the Kings Louis VII of France and his wife, Eleanor of Aquitaine, undertook a mission to rescue Edessa. However, once they reached Edessa, they decided that it was not an important objective and abandoned it to take control of Damascus, an independent state and ally of Baldwin III, grandson of Baldwin II, the King of Jerusalem at that time. After only a week of unsuccessful siege, the Crusader armies withdrew and returned to their countries 
This futile attack was taken advantage of by Nur al-Din, son and successor of Zengi, to seize control of Damascus in a more successful siege, which put in check the dominance of Jerusalem by the Christians, who would have to defend their conquests again in a third crusade. We hope you've enjoyed this second video about the beginning of the Crusades, and that you will join us in the bloody history of this conflict, which continues in the history of the Third Crusade. Don't close the video yet! Before you go, please subscribe and leave us a like, if you like the content. It will help us to grow and continue making much more content. Now, without further ado, we say goodbye.